Today I'm going to talk about some of the basic principles of improvisation and give you a few approaches that you might get something out of. So the main problem with improvisation when you first start is you just don't know what to do. So you wouldn't know your scales obviously if you have been approaching the topic of improvisation. So let's assume that you know the basic pentatonic scale. Let's do it on B minor. <laughs> Now, if you've seen some of my other videos, you've already done a little bit of practice that wasn't just going up and down the scale, that involved some more sophisticated ideas. Oh. And everything like that is really good, but that's kind of a means to an end. They're not an end in themselves. We need some simple principles that are going to help us create meaningful ideas. The first one is rhythmic variation, which underlies all phrasing. So this might sound crazy, but a good way to start improvising is just to stick to one note and try and do some interesting rhythmic phrases. Little things like that are already going to give you a lot of variation with your ideas, and you don't want to be locked into doing the same rhythm over and over again. Another useful principle is call and response. This underlies the, uh, the origins of improvisation and still much of, uh, much of many people's approach to improvisation today. Uh, so it's all about question and answer. You ask a question and you answer it. You ask another question, you answer it. So question and answer is all about what note you finish your phrase on. If you finish on a chord tone, it's going to sound like an answer. If you finish on a tension, it's going to sound like a question. So remember, the chord tones are simply the notes of the chord. In this case, since we're in A minor pentatonic, they'll be the notes, uh, sorry, B minor pentatonic, they'll be the notes of B minor. <laughs> In other words, any time I do a phrase that finishes on a note from the chord, it's going to sound like an answer, or it's going to sound resolved. That takes, up, that takes up three of the notes of our scale. The other two notes are what we call non-chord tones, or tensions. If I finish on those, it's going to sound like a question. There's a non-chord tone, or a tension. There's another one. So there's my, there's my entire method for creating meaning in solos. Just call, call and response can take me all the way through to the most sophisticated level of improvisation. Answer. Question. Answer. Question. Answer. Question. Answer. Another answer just to finish up with.